Okay, guys and gals, good morning. If I haven't said good morning yet, we are leaving that little island. It, that is just such a cool place. I'm always dreaming of my own little island. I mean, who doesn't, right? And there it is. It's actually a spoils island. It's it's what was pulled out of the ICW right here, and it makes these little islands. And they've been here for so long that vegetation takes off, and they become little little atolls. And it's perfect, perfect size. Wavy could run around. I could just leave her there and watch her from the boat. <laughs> ah, so cool. Let's go find more. We are warming up the workhorse. I'm gonna pull the anchor. And we're gonna continue on to St. Petersburg today, or that area. So, stay tuned. If we would have brought a jet ski, we would be done with the loop by now. The water has turned emerald green. So beautiful. It's such a calm day. As we get a little bit farther down the ICW here, I'm seeing some more of these spoil islands. Those are great. I'm going to totally remember those. We will get down here again. And this must have some depth in there because there's sailboats anchored out in that area. So we're doing basically what we were just doing except for, once again, the advantages of hardly drafting anything just expands all these little spots that you can grab for your own. Coming into quite the civilization here. This is where it starts to get busy in Florida. We get to go under a bridge, guys and gals. There is just so many high-end boats out here. Look at this bugger. Those comfortable seats up front. That's probably 1,200 horsepower hanging off the back. <laughs> nice. Oh, Wavy perks up when she sees money around, doesn't she? area. I want to show this to you guys. So this is an out, outlet, inlet to the sea, like to the gulf. And there's a lot more current in here. You can, I had to up the RPMs to kind of keep going the same speed because there's probably a lot of current coming from out there, which we'll get by here in a little bit. Dolphin sighting. Come back up, guys. When you can get dolphins surfacing on camera, that is a that's a blessing. And it's not an easy one to do. We've done it before in the past. We've gotten a few. And they were right there. That's a neat little boat. The little toot. Someone's not having a good day. Here's one of those bridges that if you were in a sailboat, you'd have to call them and they would lift it up for you. And today's weather report is, this is, you know, I'm trying not to use the word perfect anymore. I'll talk to you about that sometime, but uh, there's a few words I'm trying to purge from my vocabulary, and perfect is one of them. But today is 
an ideal day. It's 68, slightly overcast, a little breeze blowing through the boat. The water's like glass other than when boats go flying by and leave a wake, which is inevitable in a congested area. But yeah, today is a fantastic day. I keep pulling the phone out once in a while and just giving you guys, you know, just a, a purview of what's what this part of the ICW is. We're a little bit north of St. Petersburg. We're coming up on another one of these neat bridges. I'll show you in a minute. What a cool place. I like this place. <laughs> it looks great from the water. Hey guys, check this out. So we're on the ICW here, probably pretty close to St. St. Pete. And uh, and they pulled up and they're like, we, we watch your videos and stuff. And so let me turn the phone around and we'll say hi. Okay, so please tell the folks uh, what your names are and what, what you guys do. Hi everybody, this is Patty and Paul. We live in Indian Rock Beach. And Oliver and Teddy. Oliver and Teddy. And we're following the loopers. And look who we ran into today. Yep. <laughs> Wavy gravy. She wants to jump on board. You got. You guys got a nicer boat and we're faster. Watching, honey. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna have some some rollers here. When we were younger, we considered doing the loop. <laughs> you guys think you'll do it still? Probably or? not. Probably okay. not. Well, I mean, this is so awesome. I'm just awestruck about how beautiful it is oh, down we here. Love it here. <laughs> I'm almost a native. <laughs> I bet you can do what 60, 70 miles an hour in that thing. Uh, not no. Close. Fifty maybe. That okay. feels feels pretty fast on the water. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Yeah, great seeing you. See you later. All right. Okay, here's the spot that the brothers uh, from Steinhatchee and Carabelle, you guys, by the time you watch this, you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, they sent me a link, or they sent me a, a screenshot saying this was a good spot for them, and it's there's a really close Publix and you know other stuff, and a, and a dinghy dock that's free. So we're gonna go right over here, and we're gonna drop anchor. And we're gonna check it out for ourselves. Stay tuned. This will work. Okay, guys, I think this is the spot. We're gonna hang out here for a day or so. We'll launch the dinghy and go walk around town and take Wavy for a walk and explore the area. So, yeah, let's do it. Stay tuned. This is the American Legion number 273, I believe. I think you have to have, you have to be, be military or ex-military or be invited as a guest to go there, if I'm not mistaken. Well, the brothers weren't kidding that this was a convenient place. There's the Publix right there. And I'm not sure. Let's go check and see if that dock right there is public. And if so, we'll tie up to that. If not, we'll find another spot. Okay, I read those signs wrong when I was on the dinghy. This is uh, this dock belongs to McDonald's and you can park here. And what that was saying was you can order food and they bring it out to you on this dock. So. This is a really neat little area. It's very pedestrian friendly and just feels <clears throat> like there's not anybody that's gonna come down on you all the time for just, you know, stepping in the wrong direction. And it reminds me how awesome it is to have your own boat and how you can just anchor out and you just come to shore 
because you know doing it the conventional way you know staying in some of these condos and and uh, apartments and hotels and motels me personally I'd be broke in about a month trying to live like that but when you can just drop anchor and go explore and pick and choose what you spend your money on then you can almost do it indefinitely if you got a you know creative ways to make a few bucks you know that's my thoughts on it I don't know why more people don't do it what do you think that door is open I wonder if I can sneak in well this place looks like a lot of fun a lot more fun than the average kind of pub and I think it has something to do with you know, having like an exclu exclusivity, exclusivity, that's a hard word to say, where you know it's like only certain people can go. Probably what keeps it kind of kind of cool, like kind of club-like. Let's go dingy around a little bit more and see what else we can find. Nice little beach. This place just keeps getting better and better. Looks like they're opening the bridge up. Now it's a cool boat. That's the hum of a diesel right there. Cool boat. Paradise. Good morning, guys and gals. So we are here in a really cool spot in Florida, which I will not be able to pronounce the name of something beach. I'll put it on the screen right there. Let me turn the phone around. I want to I want to kind of show you this place because we're leaving this morning. We've been here for I think three days, but I've been working on videos the whole time, so I haven't been filming because obviously it's really hard to film and make videos at the same time. <laughs> I'm standing by this. Life is what happens while you're making other videos. So take that as what you will. But anyways, turn the phone Wavy on. Gravy knows we're going to shore here pretty soon. I'll just point some stuff out. So this is a cool spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is an American Legion, number 273, and it is a hopping spot, man. It is like, I wish I could go there, but you got to be a guest or be a veteran, I believe. These folks, I've met some of them. They live on their house, uh, they live on their sailboats, like this guy, really nice guy. He probably would have been interviewed if I would have had a chance. And I see these guys once in a while, they pull over to the dinghy dock, and I think there's like... Maybe one, but there might be two guys living on that. You know, modest little cabin cruiser. You can do that down here in Florida. There's almost no reason to be homeless down here. Though I did, here, let me turn the phone I did around. talk to one guy over at the dinghy dock, one of the guys that I think lives around here, and he said that he had a 27-foot sailboat. It was given to him, and he was living on it, and it was solving all of his problems, you know, giving him a home. And then he went to register it, and this Florida would not let him register in his name because he had back child support. So how does that solve any problems by making a guy further homeless when he, you know, do I need to say any more? Yet, you know, I better not say any more. But uh, anyways, yeah, we're going to jump in the dinghy, the Portland Pudgy, which you're going to see eventually. Hopefully, if you haven't seen it by now. It's working pretty good. Um, it's not the perfect boat. I think they're a little overrated, but they certainly are pretty cool. We'll, we'll, we'll stick with it. Um, 
I'm gonna take Wavy to shore. We found a hose. We found a hose out there with, that's hooked up and we can use it as a shower. We're gonna go swimming and then I'm gonna go use, go rinse off with the hose. So, <laughs> anyways, I've had too much coffee. Stay tuned. Okay, Beagle, I'm gonna load up. You're getting pretty good at this. Go ahead, jump on. Go, go, go. Squid, 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 go. Do it quick, just do it quick. Hey guys, shameless plug. Remember, you're looking for some good water shoes. High seas. These have been awesome. Link in the description. We got a dolphin over here. He's breached three times in front of us. Let's see if he goes for a fourth. Wavy spotted him. <laughs> she's she's got an eye for the dolphins and the manatees. You better be careful. It breached right there again, right when I turned the phone off. She's like, I saw that. She usually doesn't stand up on the side like that. <laughs> you better be careful. Gravy, look, we got a hose. Let's rinse you off. We've been over there at the dinghy dock and there's all this honking going on from the bridge. Honk, 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 honk. You'll hear it in just a second. And I'm like, it's gotta be some kind of Trump thing. And I come over here and there's flying these big Trump flags, so. <laughs> like anyone needs convincing anymore. Okay guys, we got the we got the We got the dolphins. I think they're they're breaching enough that I might be yeah, there's one. You see that? Wavy sees it. are leaving this area in the name I'm going to put right here because I can't pronounce it <laughs> and we are heading further south I think we have a, a destination in mind for today but I'll just we'll just kind of wing it so come along stay tuned pirate ship. <laughs> this is so cool. And it's moving too. It's probably doing 15, 20 miles an hour. What is that thing powered by? I love it. Okay guys, uh, this video's weather report. It is wavy. Wavy. Get in here. I didn't say go outside. Today's weather report. Hot and muggy probably 82 and 100 percent humidity this is not my kind of weather i'm not complaining uh, my preference i guess i just have lived up north so much that like 50s and 60s just feel ideal and when it starts 70s are nice 80 and beyond too hot and then you add humidity that's just me what do you think here's another interesting boat <laughs> i love it <laughs> so cool <laughs> Catch this nice mural on this bridge here before we go down and go under it. This is Treasure Island Causeway. Yes, I'm out here on the deck not steering. <laughs> Just aim her on through and let her go. She's actually handling a lot better now that I've gotten about 500 pounds off of the, the barge. This is Florida, guys. At least this part of it. Hey 
guys, I gotta get a picture of this. I'm just gonna take your picture. <laughs> Look at all these boats out here at the same time. Yeah, yeah, never. <laughs> Wait, this is like a little crunch zone here. It's like this is like a freeway. This is this is a what would you call this? A traffic jam in, in, on the intercoastal waterway in Florida. They're all passing me though because I'm the slowest one, of course. Another bridge. We got this massive houseboat waiting for his turn because he's so wide. I think he's going to go right after me. try to explain this to you. So you see that marker right there. We're starting to make a corner. Hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> and we're kind of turning up into Tampa Bay here because the, the ICW kind of turns up into it and then across. So, and I've heard Tampa Bay's no pipsqueak, you know, thing to take idly. We're gonna, we're paying attention here, but I mean, we're fine. We've crossed the Gulf and we've crossed uh, Mobile Bay, so we're not worried about it, but uh, but I am paying attention. Plus, there's a lot of shipping traffic. I've heard there's a lot of ships coming in and out and they throw a big wake, so we'll see how this goes. So it's March 16th. And I want to show you this. I have every window open, except that one, which I always keep closed. Every window, doors, back door, that window. <laughs> and it's still hot and it's still muggy. This is such a busy area. Holy cow. So the, the ICW comes up here and it just makes like a right 90 degree turn and starts heading across the bay and then I'll try to zoom in, zoom in on the, the monster I don't know if you can see that but the monster Tampa Bay Bridge down there I'm going to try to show you guys this just for your future reference so you can see we're coming down the intercoastal right here and we are hugging the starboard side of it so we're on the out like we technically should be on this side of the, the green sign. And if you look over here, there's signs warning for shallow. But right down the middle, right here, it's like five or six feet. So it's kind of like the slow lane for the intercoastal heading towards Tampa Bay. The cloud cover is being merciful. Calming down the sun a little bit. So we are coming into Tampa Bay proper to, to cross over the, the big entrance into the Tampa Bay. I'll, I, will prob I'm sh I will show you as I'm doing this so folks that aren't familiar with how, just how big Tampa Bay is, you'll get an idea. And this won't really do it justice. You've got to kind of be here. But, you know, this is one of the, the biggies to consider, one of the minor biggies. Here's another observation I'm going to try to make while it's fresh in my head, and I'm seeing it here. There is a whole lot more money down here. The further south you get into Florida, there's more of that conspicuous consumption or visual consumption, or how would you call it? <clears throat> Some of the boats down here. I just saw like two 20 something guys with three at least bikini clad 20 something girls, I assume in probably a $200,000 boat with about a thousand horsepower hanging off the back. 
just blast past me at like 50 miles an hour. <laughs> it's like, where does my brain go with that? Where did that money come from? <laughs> the cost of that boat, I could retire for the rest of my life with my lifestyle, and I would love it on top of that. I would not suffer a minute, so I don't know. Life is weird. charger down here, I think I would give a 10% discount for bikinis. I've been kind of keeping my eyes out for, you know, like an ocean going vessel out here. And I, I just looked over here and I saw that one. It's, it's heading out to sea from Tampa Bay, I assume. Okay, guys, it's been a couple hours and we are coming to the other side of Tampa Bay here, back into the ICW. I guess you'd call it the south side. I think Sarasota is coming up pretty soon if I'm looking at the map correctly. We're gonna find a good place to drop anchor and take you to shore. So we made it across Tampa Bay without incident. Piece of cake. These boats are cool, whatever, whatever those are. I've seen a few around. <laughs> I guess this is not a no wake zone. Okay guys, I just saw a sign. We're in Bradenton or Bradenton Beach. And I'm just gonna, there's a bunch of boats moored out here. So we're just gonna go out here and drop anchor because they gotta be dinging the shore. I'll just, I'll just watch them, see where they go. Stay tuned. Depth in here is nice, about eight feet right now. Find a nice little spot. Okay, guys, dropped anchor in about five feet of water. Bradenton Beach. There's got to be a place to, I'm sure there's several places to park your dinghy when you go to town. I waved at this guy right here, he waved back. Maybe I'll ask him. And people, here's the best part about this. People have to slow down. I don't know if you'll see this. When you're going through under the bridge, it's a no-wake zone, or at least it should be. And most people slow down, which means there's less wake that rolls in here in this mooring field. So you got a relatively peaceful spot. Okay guys, so I knew this guy was going to be cool. That's a 67 Chris Craft Commander, which there's a few in my, back in Ontonagon, back on Lake Superior, people love them. It's a long story about those things, I'll try to tell you sometime, but um, I just pulled up and I said, where can we where can we put our dinghies? He's just pointing me right over to this dock over here. He's like, that's our dock. That's where we all go. That guy's not supposed to be there. It's our dock. And I'm thinking, I said, pay? And he's like, no, that's our dock. <laughs> so let's go see what our dock looks like. This is some kind of public pier right here, which is nice. It's, that is one thing I love about Florida. There's a, there is a lot of public space. They want people to come and enjoy and probably spend money, but that's all right. You can enjoy it and spend money. I'll read that sign. No long-term overnight docking, 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. Wavy, hold on a second. Just a minute. Just a, oh, oh go ahead. Oh, hi, my name is Wavy Gravy, star of the channel. So we had to mute about 20 seconds of the audio on the video because someone was playing really bad rap music in the background that would probably demonetize the video. And just remember, you can't spell crap without rap. Thanks. I feel like I just anchored right off of a 24 seven party. Everyone's just having a good old time and it's, the sun hasn't even gone down yet. So I think I picked a good spot. I do have a little part of me that likes to do stuff like this. Like I'm not the world's most social person, but 
every once in a while. It's just nice to like embrace that little part of me that likes to go and join in the fun. So we might end up doing that. <laughs> we'll see. Stay tuned. Of course, I'd have to leave this little brat on board. I'm walking by this car. Look, look at the bumper sticker. I think just right over here is on the other side of the island. These are just little barrier islands. And this would be the gulf over here. Let's go check it out. Sound like Jackson. Oh. <laughs> You get him. Hi. You get him. Hi. You get him. Why don't you just be nice and let people love you? You get him. You're so cute. <laughs> Those three lovely ladies were from Minnesota. They said Fargo, Moorhead area which is almost in North Dakota over there on the border. Fargo is North Dakota. Moorhead is Minnesota. And they just loved Wavy. One of them said they had a beagle, so. Wavy gets a lot of attention. Here's the bay side. This is where we parked the, the barge right over there. You know, I could see how one lifestyle could be it incorporates like the shanty boat it would be to just t trailer your boat down here launch it somewhere in this area and then just anchor it spend the whole winter down here and then when the you know you're ready to go head north you just go get your truck or you got your truck parked or something and you just tow it home instead of doing the whole great loop it'd be a piece of cake you could probably set up the whole thing in like a week on either end you know so nice budget way to live instead of paying three thousand dollars a month in rent we're trying to buy a house down here just some thoughts to consider I was gonna walk us out there on that pier, but then it said no animals, and looks like they've wised up to the whole, it's a service animal thing, you know? They're even covering all their bases with the, you have to have ID, so. We'll just keep looking around, and then maybe later, I'm gonna hang out here for a day, probably, and I'll come back over and show you guys without waving. tomorrow Sunday. Let's go back to the barge and make some dinner. Little beagle, and I think I'm gonna leave you there and I'm gonna go back and have some adult time. 
without you getting all the attention.